Welcome back to Steam. If you haven't yet watched the first episode, give it a try, because the Bubble Tray project is definitely a lot of fun. Today we are doing a project which can still use the items around your house, but there is a chance you may have to collect a couple of items for a day or two depending on what you have available. Now let's take a ride through space, where we can see planets, comets, asteroids, and of course stars. Now today we are going to focus specifically on those stars. So what are these little bright lights in outer space? Well, they are hot clusters of gas, mainly hydrogen and helium, and they can burn for millions or billions of years. That's right, billions of years! Knowing about stars is also called astronomy. Astronomy is a word that comes from the Greeks, and Greece is a country near the boot-shaped country of Italy. It combines two Greek words, astro, meaning relating to the stars, and know me, or the knowledge or laws of something. So if you combine astro and know me, or astronomy, you get the knowledge or laws of the stars. Today we are creating a bedroom planetarium. It is a way for you to learn about the stars. The bedroom planetarium gives you the opportunity to create some really cool constellations, and constellations are a group of stars that make up a pattern. So if you learn what these are, then when you look in the night sky where you can see the stars, you can locate and identify these really neat constellations. So really what makes this project a STEAM project? Well, astronomy is the knowledge or laws of stars and it's the study of stars. So astronomers are the scientists that do that, and this is a science, which is all what you'll be doing today. We will also be building, using logic, measuring, shapes, patterns, etc. Now before we begin, I want you to make sure you have a parent or guardian to help you with this project, as we will be using cutting materials, pins, and I don't want anybody to get hurt. So the materials we'll need for this project are as follows. We need tape flashlight or a flashlight on your phone or you can see I'm using a headlamp here. Cardstock or regular paper, either way is fine. Five toilet paper rolls and you don't really need to have all of them. It just limits how much you are able to build. You'll, you should have some scissors and duct tape. You'll see that I have three different types of tape here and it's all whatever you have available. Now you also need, you also are going to need pins and a toothpick or just one of pen or one toothpick. All right, first, we need to print and cut out the constellations. Yes, make sure you cut out the constellations on paper or cardstock if you have that available. If you don't, what I would advise you to do is take a blank piece of paper and trace the template onto your paper. Make sure if you're pressing up against the screen, you're not pressing too hard because that can really damage your screen. So just nice and lightly to be able to draw out your constellations. Next, take your toilet paper rolls and cut them in half. Now to make sure they are exactly in half, measure the toilet paper roll, divide it into two, and then measure the length and make a mark. If all of your toilet paper rolls are from the same company, then you only have to do the math one time. If you are younger and you want to round it up to the nearest whole number and then cut it in half and then divide it into two, that's perfectly fine. Step three is to cut a piece of duct tape five inches long for each of your constellation cutouts. So if you have all nine, you're going to need nine of these. Lay each of them sticky side up on your table and place face up your constellations on each one. Now that you have all of your constellations on duct tape, use a pin to carefully poke through the dots in the constellations. You can use different size pins or a toothpick to make the holes of different sizes to match star brightnesses. We are almost done. Place the toilet paper roll over the consolation card and put the duct tape tightly over the tube end.
add duct tape to seal off any leaks. When covering up the extra holes, you may need to pierce your stars one more time. And I suggest a toothpick on this because it just makes it a little bit more easy. Take the consolation card on the side again. If you don't have a printer, you can write out each card and then cut them out. Now I usually like to try to make my projects look a little bit more artsy and I can use construction paper or any type of art supplies you have to decorate your project. And I want to see yours as unique as you are. And really look what you have created. To use this, you can do it a couple different ways. First, just hold up the tubes to a light and look into them. Or, you can take your tubes into a dark room and shine a light through the tube. Either way, you'll be able to see the light going through and you'll see your constellations light up. Now after learning all of this, I want you to go out into the night sky where you can see the stars and try to recognize it up in the sky. So I hope today you have enjoyed today's project. Have fun with it. Take a picture of your final project and post it on your Google Classroom. I want to see your projects on Google Classroom. And I will see you next week for another episode of Steve.